Hello there fellow captains and welcome back to another Dreadnought game where we are once again in the Monarch because <laughs> Jupiter Arms, you can't get any better than that or any better really for Dreadnoughts at least in this game I mean you do have the Kulavector and Oberon but each have their own strengths I mean I like the Monarch for instance because it's the slowest yet it's the most heavily armoured or well in game stats at least has the most hull points but we're trying out the Interceptors. Now the details of the Interceptors are on screen now. So, personally, I feel that the Interceptors are a bit of a mixed bag. I do like the idea of them, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's just an execution. I think they're poorly done. But that's not a really a knock on the uh, Jaeger or the Dreadnought devs. It's more, it's just, they don't kind of work in games like this. I mean, what would you choose to do? launch a nuclear warhead that you can be assured is either going to be taken out or deal damage to whoever's in that area within a few seconds or launch a couple of interceptors that will take about 20 to 30 seconds depending on the distance of the target to deal any damage i would prefer the nuke but again i do like the idea of the interceptors and i play with them from time to time it's just a very mixed bag but i do kind of okay in this game so you can see svetlana there so i have launched missiles at her the vultures and i've also launched the interceptors let's take out this little uh, frigate i mean the frigates aren't really much of a threat at all it's just that they can be more of a, an annoyance i mean i really like to see what they look like close up i wonder if they're on sketch fab or something another similar set but there we go vultures have impacted on target target is in low low hull strength on taken out now i'm not sure if the interceptors deploy their payload there there is some sort of little voice uh dialogue cue whenever they're you know lining up for the attack a couple of seconds before they deploy which is nice it's just kind of uh overshadowed not really the right way of describing it but you know as you can see in the top left there a crew member is talking it kind of all gets muddled up and they do seem or sound a little bit quieter than um the actual other crew members there so sticking with the command ship here in the previous game i had i made a big mistake well the most the majority of my team did uh we just avoided defending our command ship we were getting a little bit too aggressive and the enemy were able to swing around two corvettes and take out the command ship and they, they won handily right there's lek and mio i'm just checking to see what else is around me there's another enemy frigate but our interceptors as you can see they're on the starboard end of our ship have deployed against lecky hope that's the correct way to pronounce that. Lecky. Lecky Mio. I mean, Mio is quite basic. Easy to, to pronounce, I hope at least. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Oh, and what's this? Little Corvette's coming in. I think you I think you went to the wrong team, bud, there, if you want the repairs. <laughs> we're, we're not the right ones, but I'm just, just keep an eye on that uh, artillery cruiser there. Okay, our interceptors have deployed their payload. Look at that. Oh, look at that damage. And he uses evasive maneuvers. He doesn't know where it's coming from. <laughs> and it's so funny as well, because as soon as your interceptors have deployed their payload, they just warp away. <laughs> right, here's Gypsy. Now, Gypsy is a player in this game that I have quite a bit of respect for. He was the only member of his team that were really aggressive, apart from um, Jax. Jax was the pilot of that little Corvette that we just destroyed a moment ago. I mean, we didn't do the majority of the destroying to him. Somebody else did, but he just happened to come into our neighborhood. Right, so Gypsy Danger is taking quite a bit of damage there, but he is pulling back and he's got his shields up. So we've launched our interceptors. Now, we'll take them a few minutes, <laughs> minutes, sorry, not minutes, hours to get there. <laughs> but when they do get there, hopefully they'll do some damage. Right, let's try and take the shields down at least. Give our interceptors a bit of assistance. You can see the uh, interceptors there just flew past that shielded hangar or docking bay whatever it is i'm not sure and there we go gypsy's way behind cover so the only thing we can rely on now is our uh, interceptors come on what the oh another fucking frigate get away i'm trying to watch these interceptors do their job oh oh captain kill oh 20 we got him! Ah, we got him! Oh, yes, we got him with interceptors. Oh, so excited, yeah. Ooh. Things are getting better. It's a tactical. 
Now you'll notice that the actual cooldown on the interceptors is quite short. One thing I'm unsure of though, because they're so hard to track, if you're in the middle of like a an, um, a gunnery duel with somebody or a sniper duel or whatever, um, it is hard to keep track of them. You can't see them. They've got that little sort of purplish blue triangle around them. But I, I, I'm unsure if you can deploy four at one time. Like, let's say I send two after Svetlana there in the enemy tactical, and then two after Lekka Mio there. Does that work? I'm not sure. That's something that's kind of been letting me down recently, is there are a lot of people in the Dreadnought community that like data mine information. Oh, nice damage. Sweet. And they warped out. Do you see them? Our little interceptors just warp out. Okay, our vultures are on their way to the target. Lek and Mio is just hitting me with everything he has. Although, it ain't enough. Our interceptors are on their way to target again. This time they're on their way to Lekki. There's Jax, back for another little bit of fun. I think he deployed mines there, but not in a really good position. Jax is kind of like that through this entire game. Oh, okay, look, interceptors are on the way to Lek and Mio, the enemy artillery cruiser. Oh, oh, look. They took down two-thirds of his health and he uses evasive maneuvers again. <laughs> oh, they're so fun. Right, there's Reed Mad Max 22. He played well as well in this game. Him and... Oh, what's going on here? Gypsy Danger. Gypsy Danger, of course, being one of the big uh, Jaegers in Pacific Rim. Okay, we'll jump back here. We don't want to be too close to the enemy we want to stick together here now you know that i dislike the whole turtling aspect of this game but that's only if people aren't moving they're just turtling and they're just staying static at least here we're moving forward slowly because we're dreadnoughts and we're trying to stick with the command ship but at the same time we are moving forward and there was Jax being a bit of a pain in the ass okay yolanda is over there but we want to push around this side of the structure and installation. So let's do that. I mean, this game was one of the longest games I've actually played in Dread, not in a long time. I mean, it's 20 minutes max before it ends. There we go, another frigate down. But still, it is quite fun to have a longer game. I mean, you get more invested. You get more immersed. You've just got more riding on it. It's just so much more enjoyable, I think. And what is Jax doing again? He's just up there twiddly in his thumbs. I've got a couple of interceptors after him, but yeah, he blinked away. So they were almost on top of him. They could have finished him off, but that blink, his mobility just saved him. Target down. Okay, enemy. What is Aramin? I can't see. Let's, let's go for Svetlana again. Gotta take out those goddamn tacticals. Right, looking at the minimap, you can see our team are clustered up. Now, I am pushing forward here because I, again, do not like sitting still in one position, like a turtle or a camper. I do not like that type of gameplay or play style. And a number of my allies are coming to assist me, which is awesome, so thank you guys. But uh, in the meantime, I need to take out Svetlana, so... I have already deployed a couple of interceptors, as you can see. Heading over the top of our ship. And they're going for Svetlana. But I think she would have been taken. Yeah, she was taken out prior to the interceptors reaching her. Or even just the vulture missiles. Oh, that's a very nice looking ship. Look at that. Look at that paint job as well. That's awesome looking. Hmm. A lot of cool looking ships in this game. Right, let's get into position. Let's just keep pushing forward, guys. I mean, sitting in one position is not fun. We were losing for quite a while there, but we've, you know, we picked it up. Being aggressive does work. It does work. And if you've got a couple of teammates that will be aggressive with you, it can turn the tide of the battle. I'm just looking at the minimap as well. Look, you can see Jack's off there in the northwest. I am completely confused as to what he was doing this entire game. I mean, he's in a tier 5 Corvette. What? I don't understand that. Okay, there's Gypsy again. Gypsy being the only one on the enemy team actually trying to take some initiative and push into our defensive line here. 
And if you look at the mini map, we're actually in a defensive line. That's our formation. But Gypsy, unfortunately, just didn't have any support here. He will in a second, but it was too little too late. Okay, I'm just making sure Jax isn't around me there. And there's another enemy dreadnought. Or at least an enemy dreadnought, I believe. Uh, Gypsy was in a, a destroyer. But, yeah, too little too late. We got him before he could even do the warp, initiate the warp. There's Jax again. I, I feel like he's just annoying us. He, he isn't really doing much of anything at all. Um, we'll have to see his stats at the end because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if he got any kills. He just kind of stayed on the fringes. He flew in close a few times, but overall he didn't really seem to be doing much of anything. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on around us. The enemy all seem to be over that mountain range there. We're holding here at the installation, but we are going to start pushing forward here. There's Gypsy. He's literally just respawned and he's getting straight back into things. Luziel is going down. Right, where's Gypsy? Oh, there's Svetlana again. This time she switched it up to the Jupiter Arms um, tactical, but it's not going to save her. Too many of us firing on her at once, and she's down. Right, Gypsy is back. Look at that. He flanked one of our um, tacticals. I mean, if we weren't there, our tactical would have had it, but well played the Gypsy. Not really. At this point, look at him. He's taken on the entire team on his own. And where's his allies? Nowhere to be seen. Oh. I might be wrong there. A Jutland has jumped, just jumped into the battle. Let's see. Who's that? Luziel. Oh, Luziel died a moment ago there in the same position. Or, you know, a bit lower on the map, but overall in the same position. But too much of our fire concentrated on one target is not going to do well with the enemy target at all. I mean, look at this. Look at how fast she's going down. Shields are up. Shields are down. Now the hull's just going to take a pounding. Target is down. At this point, I was a little bit uh, focused on just hitting things with the main battery guns. But now we've deployed our interceptors. So Aram Jones is the target. Payload has been deployed, I think. So that was pretty damn quick. So the closer the target, the better, but still. I believe they can be taken out as well, the interceptors, quite easily, if you know what you're looking for. But now the enemy are kind of grouped up, but at the same time they're not. It's like they're jump they're being spawned in here. You'll notice in a moment. Yeah, there you go. Two enemy ships just spawned in at this location. Or was that a jump? No, that was a spawn. That was one hundred percent the spawn. But it's it's I mean, look at our score. The difference is one more kill and we've won. I mean, even a frigate would do, do it at this point. Activated. But Gypsy there. He was enough of a threat for me, at least, to focus on him. Understood. At least he was trying. The rest were just kind of sitting back and doing that. And there's Jax on the left there. You see him? <laughs> Don't know what he's doing. Trying to go in for a final little tickle on our defences. But well played. I mean, I'm not sure... Either me, myself or Gypsy got that high in the rankings, but yeah, we got Mr. Red Space Cowboy here. Reed Mod Max, who was on the enemy team. Not even going to try to pronounce your name, I'm afraid. Mium, I'll call you Mium. The other stuff is just gibberish, but yeah, oh, I got a double kill. Awesome. Sweet. So well done to Mium, Black Death, and Red Reed Mod Max, actually. Uh. Gypsy Danger, third on his team. I was fourth. Awesome. I do like it. I mean, these four here were the ones I noticed the most. Jax is way down there with two kills. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and enjoy whatever it is you're playing. And of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.